In this video, I wanted to take a look at the different track types that we have available in Pro Tools. Now, like I mentioned previously, in this series, we're gonna be taking a look at Pro Tools standard. So there are some other types of tracks that we have available if you're working with the Pro Tools HD feature set, but this is more centralized around understanding what the standard version of Pro Tools comes with. So first and foremost, we have a mono audio track. Now that is for something like, for example, a voiceover, or it could be a vocal or an acoustic guitar, anything that is coming up one stream of audio that's requiring one input on your interface. This is where we would record that type of track to. So we can see here in our GUI that we have one channel. If we hop over to our mixer for a moment, we see the same, we have one stream and then we have a pan knob, which we can pan either left or right. Now, next up, we have stereo audio tracks. Now, stereo audio tracks are very similar to mono audio tracks with the exception that instead of having one stream, we have two. Now, these allow for things like discrete left and right information. So for example, a stereo pair of microphones. Think of one microphone on the left side of a room and another microphone on the right side of a room, and they could be pointing towards a single source. Any time that we want to record something with stereo information, we're going to be using a stereo track, and this would, of course, require two separate inputs on your interface. Now, next up, we have instrument tracks, and we have two different types of instrument tracks within Pro Tools. So, for example, we have a mono instrument track over here, now this follows the same protocols and standards as mono audio tracks. Anything that you want to perform that is just a single mono audio source, we can use a mono instrument track. Now if you're recording something that has stereo information, we have stereo instrument tracks. Now this could be something like a piano that was recorded with a stereo mic perspective, or this could also be a virtual instrument such as a drum kit that's literally a stereo mix down of the entire drum set. These we can find on either a mono instrument track or a stereo track. Now next up, we have the click track. And this is where we would generate a metronome or a click for anything that we are doing that requires a performance to be recorded to a grid. And we're gonna have a further look at this down the line. After that, we have MIDI tracks. Now MIDI tracks are similar to instrument tracks with one exception. A MIDI track simply records MIDI information. Now this MIDI information can then be sent to an instrument of some sort, either in the analog domain using an external device such as a synthesizer or a virtual instrument that exists in plugin form. Now it's worth mentioning that a while back in previous versions of Pro Tools, all MIDI had to be recorded to MIDI tracks. But when the instrument track was released, this allowed us to record our MIDI and have our virtual instrument on the same track all in one place. Now next up, we have the aux track. Now an aux track in Pro Tools allows you to do a number of different things. So we could, for example, choose any type of effects plugin, such as reverb, chorus, or delays, and we could place that on an aux track, and then we could use sends from our individual channels and basically use this aux track to bring in some effects or another thing that we could do is, for example, if we had a group of tracks and we wanted all of those tracks to essentially come out of one stereo output, we could also use aux tracks for that as well. For example, if these were all my drums over here, I could choose to send the output of all of these tracks into one aux track and then have simple control over one fader instead of having to adjust all of these individual ones. And like I said, we're gonna go into detail on this in a further video. Last but not least, we have the Master Fader. Now the Master Fader in Pro Tools gives you a number of different abilities, and we're gonna take a look at these in another video as well. But essentially, these are all of the type of tracks that we have available in Pro Tools Standard that we can use to create our projects and fine tune our productions. So now that we know all of the different track types that are available to us, and we've spoken about what they do, in the next video, let's learn how to create these track types as we need them. So I'll catch you for more in the next video.